Okay, Drake. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Alright, let's see. <laughs> boy, oh boy, Christmas stream! <laughs> hey, MSO. Uh, just give me a second to transition here. Boop. All right, Murph Crimby. <laughs> All right, gonna try one more time with Ruby Conte, and then we're gonna. All right, let's see. Trying to think of how to do this. Giant Strength, uh... Strength Tonic. Protect Drink. And... Speed Drink. Gloves. Blink cast an X potion on himself. Okay, uh, high potion on Loki. Uh, haste on Loki. And Fingers is dead. Alright. Nice, just in time. Uh, high potion on Loki. Ow. Okay, Fingers is kind of caught up. Uh, Loki's dead. Yep. And it was just enough, too. God damn it. Alright, Lazara. Well, no. Uh, 
Alright, Blink's turn. Nope, never mind, Blink's dead. Jeez. Just really likes making me use up all my items for no reason, huh? Yeah. It was worth a try. Okay, uh, ten. Uh, actually, let's just use a straight up cottage for a full heal. So, so far we have uh, three crystals taken care of. What we need to do is go over to uh, Melmond. That's down there, okay. Get up. Come on. There it is. All right, we got to talk to Une. Une Un... I'm never sure how you pronounce some of these names. Uh, there he is. Just a moment. Let me see that tablet. This, this is the Rosetta Stone. This makes it possible to decipher Lufinia. Hmm. Yes, of course. That's what that was. It all makes sense. Here, let me teach you Lufinia. It's the least I can do. I like how it takes only, like, five minutes. <laughs> there, now you could speak Lufinian too. Alright. You're almost level 50, then I'm just wondering how the final bonus dungeon is going to go, assuming you go for it. Oh god, yeah. Um... Lifespring Grotto? is probably going to be the final bonus dungeon. I've actually found um, Whisperwind Cove, the last bonus one, to be easier, oddly enough. Funny, I don't think Lufinians are referenced in any other Final Fantasy game except Dissidia. Did they reference them in Dissidia? I must have missed that. All right, so <laughs> this is kind of sucky because this is the town where we're supposed to go, and the only place where we can land is all the way up here. So we're in for a bit of a walk. All right. Ambushed by winter wolves. If I remember right, these guys can actually appear in um, the Cavern of Frost, where we got the uh, Levy Stone. <laughs> Why do we even care about flattening some trees anyway? We fall. We fail, and then all the trees die. And Loki's like, but the birdies! Yeah, let's see, do-do-do.
Hill Giga. Alright. Only once, the narrator is Sid of the Lufane and identifies himself in the secret ending cutscene in the first Obsidia where he's speaking with Cosmos. Ah! If I ever get a PSP emulator working, I do want to play through the Dissidia games. Alright, uh... Ten. Because, from what I remember, there is no inn in this town. No inn that we could use. We are the Lufinians, the descendants of a race that once lived among the clouds, the Sky People. You use a vessel you call an airship. It was built by one of our ancestors, a man by the name of Sid. I don't believe they actually make this reference uh, in the original version. We have an ancient legend passed down from our forebears. According to our legend, 400 years after the fall of the civilization in the sky, Warriors bearing light will come forth to save our people. The light bearers, and the legend is true. And if I remember right, to get what we need, we need to go over here. And I think it's this guy in the corner we have to talk to. Legendary warriors, before you leave, take with you this chime. It will grant you passage to the Mirage Tower. We placed our last hope in the five warriors we sent out. It is said they fell victim to a curse of the fiends and were turned into bats. Tiamat blocks the power of wind, the source of the Sky People's strength. Uh, well. Let's see. Easy way out. Hang on. What's this? What's the purpose of this area over here because apparently no well, I guess it's just there huh. anyway all right well we got what we needed speed up guys. Alright. Allosaurus. Take on Mirage Tower. Uh, let's see. Right here. And we have to park over here because we can't park in the desert. Actually, we can park right over here. It's much closer. Okay, before we go any further, let's use a tent to heal up. And now we can get in the Mirage Tower. Uh, if I remember right, we can just go straight shot up to the top floor, but uh, there are some goodies in the tower itself. 
Oof. Lots of goodies. Ooh, guardians. These guys are surprisingly beefy. They don't hit for much, though. Nightmare and Black Knight. Alright, what level are we now? Uh, 48, 49. Alright. 800 Gil. Healing Hell. Where's the enemy? Nice. 18,000. 3,400. A Vorpal Sword. Ooh. Snicker snack goes the Vorpal Blade. Ah, crap. Alright, let's see. Uh, it would probably be easier to use Lazara or something. Alright, the Medusas are gone. <laughs> Man, technology sucks even in the future. To be fair, this is technology that's like a few thousand years old. Uh... There we go, gold needle. I just shield, nice. Speed up. Tent. And I think I saw somebody up here. Up. We got no experience due to being stoned as it's now behind his peers. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Master, we have waited so long. Ah! Robot's dialect is so bad it glitched the screen. We've got vampires here too. Come on, what is with this encounter rate? All right. Vampires in a technology-filled tower, I guess they drink oil. I mean, it is probably the blood of the robot guardians. So what, it's uh, the cyber vampire thing from Buzz Lightyear of Star Command?
our friend left on a journey to the west. Was his name Sun Wukong? He took the warp cube and went to see our master. Huh. Wonder who this master is they keep talking about. Uh, let's see. Lots of treasure. Sunblade. Lots of money. Cottage. Yada, speed up. Dragon mail. Yeesh, we're getting a lot of money. We've almost got half a million. And Thor's hammer. Alright, let's see. Equipment. Speed up. 10,000 gil for that fight alone, Jesus. There we go. Where tiger? There we go. Can we get a sleeping bag for that? All right. Uh, high potion. Seeing the Guardians and the fact they shoot a laser at intruders makes me fear frantic piano music for some reason. <laughs> Given the design of the Guardians, the Master is actually the War Machine. That actually makes sense. Alright, Blue Dragon. Hits kind of hard, but at the level we're at, pretty much a non-issue. Use the warp cube to travel beyond the sky. It will take you to the flying fortress. Here we go. I think in some versions you actually have a cutscene of what the Flying Fortress actually looks like. Yep. Well, no, I mean, think about it. It's like the super boss in this dungeon, and, I mean, this is the place where they have all this advanced technology from, like, a couple thousand years ago. So if you think about it, it actually makes perfect sense. Death Knight, ooh. Death Knight dead.
Lots of mana cores. Spirit Naga and Air Elemental. Okay. Come on. Yay, everybody's at level 51. Earth Medusa. Loki's like, wait, if this is an Earth Medusa, what's she doing in the sky? <laughs> what the hell? Relax, Loki. Yeah, but I just didn't expect warping to feel like that. Understandable. Just do yourself a favor and uh, don't look down. Another healing helm. We are getting so much money. Also, in the original version, it wasn't just, like, above the clouds or whatever. You were straight up in space. <laughs> Why didn't you turn to stone? That's my secret. I'm always a little stoned. To which Fingers is like, Oh, so that explains that strange green herb that you had. Razor! Nobody can equip it. Man. We are just getting a ton of crap. And let's see. Oh! More Black Knights. Deathbringer. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, a saber that casts Scourge wouldn't use. Or Scourge. Scourge, Scourge. It always throws me off with the spelling. I think we can make use of that. I was gonna say don't forget the Adamantite, but you can't equip Excalibur. I guess it's good to see get if you want to sell it, maybe. I don't remember it being worth that much when you try to sell it, but I suppose I could give it a shot. And besides, in this version, I think there are some uh, better weapons than Excalibur, actually. Ooh, Diamond Gloves. If this were four onwards, you could maybe use it for throw. I think you could even use it in um, three. I think you could even use, use it for throw in three, so... <laughs> Loki's like, again, these are Earth enemies. What are they doing in the sky?
go. Eight hundred eighty gil, nice. Thirteen thousand gil, very nice. <laughs> Ribbon, huh? Gonna give it to your little princess at Cornelia? Shut up! <laughs> Loki's just all embarrassed. Evil eye. Dead. Found it. Alright, so we got the adamantite. I'd say we're good to keep going. Oh! Fingers got poisoned. <laughs> Slick's just like... Oh no, guys, we pricked our finger. And then Fingers is just like, oh, ha ha. All right. Potions. White robe, black robe, and next floor after this fight, and maybe a couple of others. Speed up. Sasuke's blade. Ooh. <laughs> the fingers is like top class humor from the stoner. Medusa's in the sky! Think about it, Loki. What better way to dispose of your enemy than petrifying it, than tossing it off the side in a tall place? Uh, good point. Oof! That one actually hurt. Potion. 54.50. Now all we need to do is find Naruto's blade now. I knew someone was going to make that joke. Ooh, lots of treasure. Can't hold anymore. What can't I hold any more of? Echo grass, gold needle, remedy. Thousand or sixty four hundred. I wish it was sixty four thousand. Ninety five hundred. Eighty one thirty five. Protect cloak. Maybe a clue on how to defeat Tiamat. What if... What? Uh, it's nothing. 
I don't think we have anything that can match the gaze of a Medusa. Yeah, I, I, I know the easy way to defeat Tiamat, so it's just a matter of actually pulling it off. Yada yada. I forget if the Rakshasa can inflict poison status or whatever. From this observation window, you can look out on the entire world. <laughs> clothes? The fuck? Why are there shitty ass clothes here? And fingers would just be like, well, they had to wear something. The observation window looks out upon the entire world. The four forces of fire, earth, water, and wind appear as mist, converging on a single point. A point at the center of the four altars. This must be the location of the Chaos Shrine. And Loki's just like, wait a minute. Isn't that Cornelia down there? Then that means that was where we fought Garland. Huh. What do you think that means? I don't know, but I have a feeling we're gonna find out. Alright, down here. I gotta. Analyzing Tiamat, no known weakness. More stone golems. And no treasure here either. Fire hydras. Okay. Okay, Blink, you made a good argument about the Medusas and everything like that. How do you explain this? Okay, this floor. Now, from what I remember, I just go a long ways this way. Actually, I think it's like two up. Creatures from every element are present. Perhaps Tiamat is the one who leads the other fiends? And then Slick's like, eh, I think I remember the prophets in Crescent Lake mentioning that. Ah! Freaking encounter rates. Here we go, found it. All right, now, uh, I'm gonna save state here just in case because there is a certain super boss that's found in this room. Hopefully I don't run into it before I run into Tiamat.
There it is. All right, let's see. Man, Loki's been taking a beating. Boop, 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 boop. Give me a second. And here we go. The Lick. Marilith. The Kraken. You have defeated three fiends and reached my lofty perch. The more the merrier. May the image of Tiamat, fiend of wind, be the last to burn in your eyes. All right. Uh. Curtain, I believe, works here. Oh, I forgot the light ass is good for um, undead enemies. All right, let's see. Invisi Rod. Ooh. Uh, Major Staff. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I didn't catch this part of the conversation. What? <laughs> uh, if this were any other moment, I'd try the old Seduce the Dragon routing, but fuck that, you're one ugly ass bitch. Go ahead, we'll be here for support. Pull yourself together, Loki. We've been through worse, and you even saved our asses against Cerberus. You're right. I can do this. We can do this. He was just a three-headed puppy. This is a god among dragons. All right, uh, let's try... the Razor again. That didn't hit for much. That hit for even less. Man. Poison gas. Uh oh. any luck with the razor.
Link's running kind of low. Uh, oh, that's going to hurt. Spend a whole turn healing. Blaze. Uh oh. That's gonna hurt. Oh, jeez. Fingers and Slicker down. Okay. Um. Razor. Oh, no. Do I dare? Yep, nope. Let's try this again. Hmm. Actually, before we do, let's try a couple of things. Uh, Loki needs that stamina plus. Try this again. Yada yada yada. Okay, round two. Okay, let's try the same thing we tried with Ruby Conte. I think it'll work better here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Would be funny if you kept trying to cast Scourge on her the whole battle. I mean, I kind of was. Giant's Gloves for Saber. Blue Curtain to cast Null Shock. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ouch. Uh, temper. He's only got about 2400 HP. Yeah. Haste and... Yeah, but she also kind of hits like a truck. Now, kind of silly question. Um, if 
they're lower on if she's lower on health, does that make it easier to hit her with the with the insta kill or does it not have any effect whatsoever? She also, funny enough, is one of the only two enemies who can cast instant death spells. I was not aware of that. Uh, let's see, slow. Razor. And uh, how about a protect ring for Loki? Jeez. Loki is hitting like a truck now. It's just a percent chance. Health has nothing to do with it. You just gotta have RNG on your side. Eh, figured that was the case. Uh, high potion on Loki. And there we go! <laughs> Loki is pumped from Blink's pep talk about Cerberus. Well, it worked. Well, that's all the crystals. took two tries. Uh, ten. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Do, do, do. Speed up. Go back down here. Actually, lore purposes. All right, so there's that, there's that, there's that. Oh, stock up on items. Yes, and now thanks to Loki finding that map, we know where to go next. Should we try see if another dungeon opened up first, though? We may find something of use in there. Alright, uh, let's see what we can sell. Uh, jeez, we got three quarters of a million here. I don't think anybody can equip the Vorpal Sword. Because that's going to be an issue. Uh, 
the clothes. Tetsus we don't really need anymore. Alright. Time to talk to the prophets, see if they have anything to say. Forces gather in the Chaos Shrine, in the dead center of the four altars. With the forces again freely flowing, it is time to go to the Chaos Shrine and strike at the root of darkness. The Fall Crystals shine once again. The combined power of their light is the only means of breaking through the Wall of Time. Wait, Wall of Time? The architect of this disaster is beyond that wall, 2,000 years in the past. Wait. What? You would have no memory of this. But before you wandered into this land, time flowed normally. But here and now, the flow of time has become warped for you. The chain of time is looped back upon itself. You must travel back to that point in the chain, where the cycle of wrath was born. There, you must destroy it. The sequence of disasters that began 400 years ago was triggered by events that occurred only a scant few days ago. But whoever set this in motion has now fled 2,000 years into the past. I see time spiraling. Whatever went back 2,000 years into the past has brought the world to the brink of destruction. And now, 2,000 years later, it travels into the past again. A cycle of wrath without end. An ever-repeating 2,000-year cycle. The warped destiny that gives birth and rebirth to wrath. But it is no more than an illusion. A fantasy. A fantasy that only the warriors of light can shatter. Bring light before crystals to us. Warriors of light, only you can do this. Power must be turned towards its proper end. 400 years ago it was wind, 200 years ago it was water, then came earth and fire, the four forces that make up the world. Ooh. Alright, so... I think, before we do that, we're gonna see about taking on uh, Life Spring Grotto and Whisperwind Cove. I do have something special planned for um, Life Spring Grotto. I'm not planning on going through it all since apparently the uh, since the Hellfire Chasm gave us trouble, but get up. Come on. <laughs> Ambush just so the shark can run away. Uh, okay, so it's north of us here. Alright, Life Spring Grotto, we go into this whirlpool here. The water flowing from the grotto is pure once more. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll fall in love with a man and come to live here. Everybody just looks at fingers and he's just like, What? Let's see. Aha! Stairs right here. That was easy. Oop! Treasure. X potion. Nice. Giant's tonic. Ooh, very nice. that. Go down 
down here. Ah, oh, this floor. I remember this floor being kind of annoying. Actually, looks like they're being a lot more cooperative than usual, except for this guy. Move. Speed up. Can't hold anymore, okay. Speed up. There it is. All right, let's see. Strength tonic, okay. the mermaid village of Seahold. A strange man carrying a poleaxe arrived not long ago. Apparently he's looking for a sword of matchless power. Since our village is connected to the sea, all sorts of things wash up here. Perhaps that sword is among them? Where is he now? Uh, if you head north, you'll find a place with several pillars standing in a diagonal row. There should be a darling blue mermaid there. Why don't you ask her? North, you say? Huh, thank you, ma'am. The other day, I saw a barrel swimming through the ocean, but that couldn't be, could it? Alright, uh... Three pillars standing in a diagonal row. Hey, there's Blue Mermaid. If it's that suspicious man you're after, he was right over there until a little while ago. I don't think he found what he was looking for because he ran right off again. He was heading south, so I imagine you could find him that way. There's a pink mermaid in a room down there. Talk to her, she might know something. Hmm, so back down south. Have I seen anyone suspicious? Have I indeed? This man wanted to know if there was a treasure chest inside. When I said yes, he barged right in. Well, as soon as he rushed in, I locked the door behind him. I can't keep him locked up forever. Would you help me chase him out of there? Alright, I'm counting on you. All right. Now, I believe... Uh... Oh, jeez. We're getting a lot of lore stuff here. <laughs> Wait. The flow of time is warped and we need to break the chain. All this, does this mean that... When we break it, we will we cease to be? Either way, we need to go back in time and stop this madness, even if it means we disappear. Oh, come on, what's with you guys? We're the greatest thieves ever. If fate tries to screw us over, we'll just steal destiny right from underneath its nose. Whoever this architect is, we'll steal destiny from him, too. Now let's prove our greatness by performing the greatest heist 2,000 years in the making. We'll cement ourselves as the greatest thieves of all time. Now let's get to that chaos shrine. He's scared. Hmm? You can tell too, can't you? He's terrified like the rest of us, but he's putting on a brave face. Not just for himself, but for us too. <laughs> I don't know what's more impressive. You analyzing him like that, or the fact you even feel fear? I may not seem it, but I am human too. Alright, uh, let's see. There is a specific 
song that I want to play for this fight. Uh, do do Give me a second. Alright, so safe state's ready. Uh, I think we're alright as far as health is concerned. Let's just freshen everybody up then. <laughs> I'm afraid the contents of this chest are already in my possession. Ha! And thanks to you, the route of my egress is clear too. But before I go, I think I'll test the power of Excalibur on, oh, you. Here we go. Now, bump. Here we go, Gilgamesh. Let's see what we can do here. Um, all right. Well, it's worked so far. Let's have uh, Loki use Giant's Glove. Crank that music up a notch. Yeah, that might be a bit much. There we go. All right, let's see. Hmm. Strength tonic. Let's have everybody buff up Loki. Uh, protect drink. Speed drink. Oof! That hurt. Okay, uh... Where is... There it is. Explosion. Uh, temper. Good hit. Oof. Uh, high potion. Do, 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 do. Invisira, see if that helps. Galloper only ever hits for one damage. All right. Uh, let's use another high potion on Loki. Uh, strength tonic might help as well as a speed drink. Ah, dang it, did the 
yeah. I was hoping to get it done by the time the song ends and didn't loop, but eh. Guess it can't be helped. Okay, uh, everybody spam high potions on Loki. Well, Loki did a number on him. Blink's turn, I guess. Uh, Giants gloves. Strength tonic. Speed drink. Ow. Okay, let's have uh, fingers use a phoenix down. And let's have Slick use a high potion on himself. Oh shoot, hold on, hold on, hold on. Never mind! Okay! Woo! -hoo. We beat him! And we got the Genji Gloves! Nice! Uhura Locks spring in the distance. We beat Gilgamesh! I think that lock was referring to... Okay. <laughs> you alright there, Loki? Ugh, man, that guy was tough. Don't worry, I picked up the slack for you. Now, I can go for an easy exit here, or I can just go through here and go to the next floor. Who was that guy? And did he call us butts? Eh, whoever that is, he's gone now. Alright, let's see. Uh... up. Oh, wait, hold on. Treasure chest. Speed up. Oh, yeah, hold on. Since, uh, music's not playing anymore, I can just, uh, turn this off. Emergency exit. Ooh. That's always good to have. Best part about that battle, by that time you'll have Excalibur so you can fight him with the sword he supposedly found. <laughs> that is true. Blue Fang, okay, that's good. Yada. All right. Speed up. Ah, come on. It's a 
Dragon Queens. Yeah, yeah, that, come on. Nothing in here. Pythons. Come on. Got a blue curtain. One, two, three, Gil. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... Nope. Okay. So I guess I'll just have to head back up. Aha! There are the stairs. We go. Ah. Okay, this floor. I remember this floor being kind of tedious. Okay, Loki. Uh, remember, just don't look down. Ah, I look down. Okay, nothing there. Nope! Well, at least they gave us that courtesy. I forgot that they pulled that trick. That's kind of mean. All right, what's up here? Vampire Fang, Spider Silk, nice. <laughs> Don't look down. How am I supposed to see the pathway if I don't? Does anyone else feel like Wily e. Coyote? All right, protect Frank. All right, up, 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 up. Okay. And hook. <laughs> Slick's going to be like, okay, yeah, not going to lie. I see why you have a problem with this Loki.
Golden Apple. Ooh, if I remember right, that's a permanent HP boost. Uh, items, sort. Raises max HP by 10. Uh, Loki needs it. Alright, what's in here? Speed plus. Drink tonic. Nice. And dead end. Okay. Going through here. Found it. Ugh. All right. Uh Speed plus. Loki could probably use it as well. <laughs> Imagine a speedrunner doing this just going along no problem due to having memorized the path after 10 million failed attempts. I'm sure somebody's done that. Yeah. On the plus side, didn't have to deal with any monsters on that floor. Go through here. I suppose they'd skip the bonus dungeons, but if they're going for 100% or something, then they probably would. Yeah! 100% speedruns? I have no idea how they do it. You gotta be insane to go through something like that. in here. A light curtain. Ooh. Beat up. Going up through here. Queens. <laughs> I wonder if that category officially exists. 100% speed run for um, Final Fantasy 1. I'm pretty sure it exists somewhere. I don't know anybody crazy enough to try it, but... Then again, I also don't know anybody crazy enough to try four white mages. Oh, 100% uh, bestiary speedrun. Oh, yeah. The thing is, for 100% bestiary, you need to go through these, uh, these bonus dungeons. So, there it is. <laughs> Fingers and Slick have their faces light up at this sight, and they just, and Blink is just like, come on you guys. Curtain, okay. Did they say anything if you talk to them? 
Do you know the Samba? I blame it on the Samba. I've got to get better. All right. Hop. I'm gonna be that asshole. Um. Go. Ah, come on. Come on, move over to the side. That way, there we go, thank you. Alright, uh, I think this is the floor where we have to deal with, um... Oh, right. Atmos. Or Atomos. <laughs> the real trial of that floor was dealing with NPC logic. Yup! I'm surprised no one is asking why there is a ton of dancing girls in a random dungeon. Actually, the fact they're in a dungeon makes it worse. Blink's just thinking, you know what, don't question it. Oh, hold on. Uh, before we go any further, I need to... I forgot to... Uh, boop, there we go. All right. Uh, how's our health doing? Eh, could use a little freshen up. And Slick could use an ether. Has good fingers. All right. Interlopers. Okay, this thing. Uh, spider silk? Actually, no. Giant's gloves. Spider silk. Strength tonic. And protect drink. I don't remember if Atomos is uh, weak to anything. I don't think he is. Okay, spider silk didn't work. Physical hit doesn't do much. Okay, uh, temper, haste, it's a portal, but it's alive? Don't get sucked in. There's no telling where that portal leads. Um... Blue Fang, see if that helps. Alright, good hit. Wormhole! Ah, oh, crap, Loki's dead. Jeez. This fight sucks on so many levels. God damn it, Slick. Uh. Blink, your turn.
Got that from Jason X. I never watched Jason X, mainly because I just don't watch horror films. Alright, uh... Let's have Fingers use a Phoenix down. Uh, Protect Drink on Blink. On it. Oh, that hit like a truck. <laughs> Give me Hitchcock Price and Karloff any day? Yeah, fair. Staff is in order. Ow. Okay, uh, Giant's Gloves. Attack. High potion on Loki. High potion on fingers. <laughs> Imagine a remake of the film. Instead, I have a feeling it'd be called Stop Burbs. <laughs> Good hit. God damn it. Just when I got Loki up to speed. At least this isn't using Final Fantasy V mechanics. Don't want to deal with losing Loki from the battle permanently. doing a pretty good job right now. Oof. Uh... Healing staff and... Poor Loki. I've heard of eating the rich, but this is ridiculous. Daraga! Oh boy! That's gonna hurt. Ah, great. Link. Okay. Whew. That was rough. Got it. <laughs> Loki, I specifically said not to get sucked in. <laughs> All right, well. Speed up, come on. Ooh. 
not my fault. And there we go. More Buccaneers. It's a Hagen. All right, now... Uh, you know what? I think we'll give Whisper Wind Cove a fair shake, and then we can just head on to the Temple of Fiends. Actually, we have been going for a while, so... <clears throat> Do any of those Buccaneers know a lady by the name of Armstrong? Are you going for Full Metal Alchemist there? <laughs> Not my fault! As he's getting sucked in. <laughs> First name being Olivier. Tiamat's defeat in the Flying Fortress has shattered the seal on the cavern. She must have sealed it out of fear of our forebear's powers. Okay, let's give this a try. Gloom Widows. Damn spiders. Door. <laughs> Ambushed only for them to run away. Blue Fang. 2500. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, dead end. Ice? Makes sense she'd fear this place. Dragons are weak to ice. How do you know that? Eh, it's in a book I read. Something about catching monsters that fit in your pocket. Huh, weird. Nothing else, these extra dungeons are really good for grinding. Wait, if you knew that, why didn't you say something during the battle with Tiamat? Uh, I forgot? Besides, I don't think... I think that was in a game about, like, catching monsters in your pocket. I don't think it would have applied to her, given her size. Probably would have taken too much energy. Yada. Through here. Cockatrice claw. Okay. Surprise the wild next. What's in here? Nothing. Okay, dead end.
Nope, nothing up here. This way. There it is. Phoenix down? Okay. I remember this floor being kind of creepy. I stand between my country and all who would do it harm. I think every NPC that you talk into, you you talk to on this floor, is actually like a zombie of some sort. Ah, not gonna let us. I will never surrender my kingdom. None shall stand in my way. The Pharaoh. Oof. What... What manner of treachery is this? My armies... Defeated. Someone dropped for that. My soul is bound to that of my king. Okay. I will honor you always, my leash. Turbo Ether, nice. Why has this happened? <laughs> Blinks like, you know? I kind of feel bad for these guys. They were mostly just caught up in this. Being forced to live on like this, it's too much. down this way? Speed drink. Ah, oh, there's the stairs. Alright. Ah, oh, great. The rock maze. Nope. Well, it looks like they given me some mercy and not had monsters spawn. 600. Vampire Fang. Anything else? Nope. Well, this kingdom is the one that originally had the water shrine in it, since the shrine itself sank, hence the flooding. Ironic, either way, that undead would be here, given the name Life Spring Grotto. Oh no, this is the Whisperwind Cove. I got kicked out of the Life Spring Grotto, because, uh, lost against Atomos. Pythons. Okay, up here we go. 
All right. Now, if I remember right, Whisperwind Cove uh, is based on the Final Fantasy VI bosses, so... Oh, right. I think this one, it's like every ten floors or something, instead of every five. I see a treasure chest over there. I see two treasure chests. Stamina plus, nice. Blue curtain. That ought to help. Uh. Okay, there's the exit, so it's just going to be a long trip around. doing on money. Blink sees that lake right there, and he's like, uh, as thirsty as I am, I don't think I want to drink water that's that color. And everybody else just nods in agreement. Uh, sit down this way. Yes, it is. And then suddenly lava. Woo, hot, 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 hot. drop on blink out of help uh, another stamina plus on Loki I think Treasure. Red Fang. Wizard's hat. There it is. Okay, eighth floor.
Nope. There it is. Right, floor number nine. Another stamina plus. Nice. Huh. Hey guys, does this place look familiar to you? Yeah, I think this is the same, uh, I think this is the same setup as that Earth Shrine. What's that doing here? Uh, I don't know. So that means if we go through here, aha, stairs. Okay. Whisperwind Cove, floor 10. Okay. Wait, the sage said that time is warped. Do you think that's why we're seeing familiar places in these dungeons? Blink's just like, hmm, that might actually make sense. <laughs> and Slick's just like, it's kind of scary how easy you're grabbing onto all of this. Typhon! Alright, oh, this guy. Uh, let's see. Protect drink? No, actually. Uh, Giant's gloves. Drink tonic. Uh, speed drink. And let's just have Slick use haste. have Slick give a Protect Drink to everyone else. Starting with Blink. <laughs> Come on, man. I've heard of Two-Face, but having the second phase on your butt is just making an ass of yourself. And then Blink's just like, Slick, stop. Tech drink. Uh, I forget if the snort is instant kill or if it just does big damage. Uh, 
haste. Oof. He definitely hits like a truck. Uh, let's have Blink use the Giant's Gloves this time. Snort launches a party member away, so yeah, insta-kill. Figured. Okay, so far it's not hitting anybody. Let's keep it that way. idiot. It's because everybody has protect rings. So of course Snort wouldn't kill anybody. So barring its physical attacks, I'm actually pretty set for this fight. Wait. By that logic, then, why did Loki keep dying to Atomos? Ah. Uh, let's try Strength Tonic on Loki, and let's give him Speed Drink as well. If I remember right, to a certain point it stacks. At least he's spending most of his time on Failed Snort. Yep. Okay, uh, Strength Tonic on Blink. Speed Drink on Blink. Nice. Ow. Blue Fang. White Fang. And there we go! And we get to get in G Helm. Okay. Uh, with that, I think we're at a good stopping point. It's possible Wormhole doesn't qualify as Death Element and thus work. Uh, that's kind of BS if that's true. Anyway, yeah, I think we're at a good stopping point. All right, let's uh, let's heal everybody up. Surprisingly, that battle went a lot smoother than the other ones that we've been through, so... Alright. I think this is a good place to save. I often 
people forget death is considered an element, but yeah. Yeah. Same thing with the Persona series, really. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Who should we raid, and what should we raid with? Let's see what's on Twitch. All right, do 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 do. You know what? Let's go ahead and raid this madman. Uh, we're going to go ahead and raid Ludes TV, who is currently doing a 24-hour uh, subathon stream of uh, Fake Grand Order. Dude's freaking insane. Alright, so... Uh, what should we raid with? Let's see. So it seems some instant death spells require some kind of alternate protection and thus protect reams can't defend against all of them. That's stupid! That is so stupid. Why would why would they even? Ugh. That is just so stupid. Stream is glitching up at yeah apparently. All right. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh, oh geez, yeah, the stream is really glitching up bad. Um, you know what, let's just raid with Shinobi Inquisition. 